Miss Langham, I wanted to make a quick video of how to send an email. Um, some of your teachers might be telling you to submit your work in an email, or maybe you have questions that you want to ask your teacher, um, not live. And the best way to do that is just send an email. So there's a lot of ways to get on our school email platform. It's called Microsoft 0365. So it's going to have Outlook email, um, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Teams will be on there, Microsoft Word, basically everything will be located in the central location. So there's a lot of ways to get on it and I'm gonna show you one way. So what you can do, um, we'll go to Chrome and you can go to portal.decabschoolsga.org. Once you've logged in and you've saved it, you can just type Outlook and it will, it will understand that that's your email and you just hit enter. So let's do it by portal. So when it takes you to the sign in page, um, see it already has mine saved. It's really important that you put your S number at decabschoolsga.org. If you don't put that in, it's not gonna understand that you're using a DeKalb County email address. So it's not gonna work if you don't put that in. So you guys will click either add an account or use another account on yours. And so this is where you type it. Like, let's say your S number is S123456. You do at decabschoolsga.org. Okay. And then you hit next and it'll tell you to type in your password. But that's not mine. So we'll just do mine really quick. And it's signing me in. Okay. So now I have to verify right here that it's me. If yours asks you to do this, you don't need to put at decabschoolsga.org right here. You just type in your S number and your password, and then you can sign in. All right, so it's loading. Give it just a second, and I'll show you around. This is just like a quick tutorial. I think you guys can really figure it out on your own, um, but I'll show you like, like the basic functions. So if we click over here, this square with nine dots in it, you can click that. And to get to our email, we'll click Outlook. Um, if you save things on your Microsoft Cloud, that would be OneDrive. Microsoft Word is if you need to type something up as just like a document. Excel is gonna be like spreadsheets and tables. PowerPoint is my personal favorite and I use that to make a lot of things for our school. Um, we don't really, you really won't need anything else besides Microsoft Teams and I'll make another video of how to do that too. So for now, we're just gonna log into Outlook. And when it logs in, you'll see. Okay, so I have some emails already from earlier today. Your inbox is gonna be right here on this left-hand side. Um, if you need to go back and look at any emails that you've sent before, you can click send items, or let's say you're in the middle of typing an email and then you logged out or you closed your Chromebook or something, it will save it for you and you can find it located in drafts. So to send a message, you're gonna click new message right here in the top left-hand corner. And a box will come up. So let me pretend I'm gonna write an email to Mr. Russell. So I start typing in his name and our school district's email, it recognizes anybody who's already in the system. So we'll pretend I'm sending it to Mr. Russell. Now, don't worry about where it says CC. You can add other people there, but I don't really see a need for you to do that. So we won't worry about that. But CC just means carbon copy. So whatever, whoever you type here, it will also send the email to them. Now you can send an email to more than one. Like let's say you're sick and you just wanna let all your teachers know at once um, let's say, who else is on team A? I don't know. Not Mr. Rivner, but we'll pretend. So if I start typing in Mr. Rivner's name, I can add him to the email too. You can add a lot of people to your emails. Um, so we'll just take them out. And for our subject, let's just, like we're, we're saying, we are pretending we sick. And we'll say, um, I don't know, absent this week. So you could say like, hi, Mr. Russell, I am sick and I will miss class the rest of the week. Okay. Um, 
please let me know the assignments I need to work on. Then we'll say like, thanks. Miss Langham, or this would be you. You would sign your name, not as me. So yeah, so when you do that, you would just click send. But like, let's say um, this is like, you're actually trying to send Mr. Russell your homework and he wanted you to send it as an email. You could just say homework week of August 17th, okay? Hi, Mr. Russell. Here is my work for the week. Okay, so let's say we have it saved to our computer. To find it, you're gonna to go to this paper clip right here, and it says attach, you're gonna click it. And the your most recent documents will already be preloaded right here. But if they're not, and you have saved it to your computer, you will click browse this computer. If it's not saved to your computer, let's say you're working on it on the cloud and you saved it to your OneDrive account, you would click Browse cloud location. So I'll show you mine. All right, let's see what I got in here. Okay, so it's loading all my documents that I've saved to my OneDrive account. So whatever we want, let's just say it's this. We'll click it and then we hit next. So you can either share it as a OneDrive link or you can attach it as a copy. My advice to you is always attach it as a copy because if you share it as a OneDrive link, you might have settings on it that you don't realize and Mr. Russell might not be able to see your document. But if you attach it as a copy, it will run perfectly. So we'll click attach as a copy. Now you can add more than one document too. Like let's say I need to add another one. We'll do this one. And so you'll attach them all right here. And then when you're done, you just click send. I'm not gonna send this email because I don't really need to email Mr. Russell, but that's how you do it. If you guys have any questions, um, you can email me or text me on my Google Voice phone number or call my Google Voice phone number or send me a message on Verge if you still don't know how to use email and I'll be glad to help you. So um, I'll see you guys later in my next video, bye.